Hey guys, quick follow up from the last video on starting a mold for an injection or blow molding application using imported geometry. This time we're going to get the same result using an in context assembly. Let's get to it. Like last time, I'm going to start with our finished product model, but this time I'm going to insert this part into an assembly and work within the assembly file. Now's the time to create the mold by first inserting a new part into the assembly. Edit that component within the assembly and create the mold body. Next, we'll use the cavity tool to create the mold cavity. There's a new option with this method which allows us to scale the cavity to account for any part shrinkage if it's necessary for our product or application. With the cavity created, from here on out it's pretty straightforward. Split the mold and add the finishing details. Guys, I hope you found that tech tip useful. If you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button below to be kept up to date with the latest from MLC CAD Systems. Again, if your tool design processes are taking longer than you think they should, reach out to your local MLC CAD Systems representative today and start a dialogue. And as always, thanks for watching.